Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas day six. I think it's starting to get blurry. <laughs> the, the more we go into this, the more I'm gonna be guessing what day it is. Vlogmas day six and uh, Taylor's putting Noble down for a nap and the other two are already down. And it's another day where I pick up the camera when the kids are down for naps. Taylor worked overnight and then came home this morning. Um, all the kids are down for naps. He's probably gonna take a nap pretty soon. And I've got laundry going and the dryer that I need to put away pretty soon. And I would like to wash the kids' sheets today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to that. Hopefully I will. Maybe when they wake up, I'll throw them all in the washer. We do need to get out <laughs> today. We, I feel like we ran errands like almost every day this week, but we totally forgot to get coffee beans. We usually have them come through Amazon and I've got to set this down for my turning. <laughs> uh, we usually have the subscribe and save for Amazon for our coffee beans. We totally forgot to set set it to the right date, and so I don't know when they're coming in. But uh, so we need to go buy coffee beans today because we are completely out, and that is one thing that we do not like to be out of. I would like to go get rabbit neighbor and the rest of that stuff today. And so after naps, we're just gonna go do that really fast and then come home. For dinner, I'm going to do uh, this sausage tortellini uh, creamy like soup thing I usually do that Taylor loves, so I'm gonna make that. I've already got the sausage thawing for that. Um, everyone's already breakfast, lunch, it's already afternoon. So I'm going to probably, I've got my book right over here. I have like so many different books I read, you guys. <laughs> I just like to do it that way and it's usually different topics like I'll have a fiction book going a, a non-fiction book and uh, I've got the advent book going so I guess three books um, but this is the one I'm reading this is Amusing Ourselves to Death by Neil Postman this was written in 70s or 80s and it is a really really good book really really good book and it's crazy that he was just talking about this kind of stuff you know then in that time period and now it's you know, 20, almost 2023, and we are majorly dealing with these problems. So, uh, this is a really good book. I've got highlighter, <laughs> also got two little York peppermint patties I just pulled from the fridge. So, a little treat while I read my book and let the kids nap. And uh, I think that everything, I would like to show you guys our actual advent the kids do and how it works. I'll try and do that today because we, we haven't done our advent yet. So we'll probably do that when the kids wake up. But for the most part, that's everything we're thinking. I think today we will also paint some ornaments. I have like this ornament kit down here. I have this that I got from the Hobby Lobby when I bought all those crafts and they're just ceramic ornaments with paints. So maybe I'll have the kids do that later today. I'm gonna go ahead and just chill out, read my book, and uh, then when the kids wake up, we'll go run those quick errands. So look at these beautiful flowers, you guys. They are so pretty, so pretty.
like your little baby. Let me see. You got him all wrapped up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, so it is around four o'clock. I'm getting ready to start dinner. I just pulled my recipe up on my laptop and I'll share it with you guys in just a second. And I will try and remember to link it. <laughs> I'm terrible at remembering to link those. Um, Ivy is just hanging out right over here in the exercise. Taylor took the boys out to the garage to work out. We actually decided to not run errands um, this evening because Taylor said that we did have enough beans for tomorrow morning. So after they get back from his from Noble's appointment tomorrow, I think is when we'll go run our quick errands. Just keep it simple because we all just kind of want to chill out <laughs> because Taylor didn't get sleep last night. I didn't get sleep last night because Ivy did not sleep well. I think she was up. It felt like every 30 minutes to an hour. So if I look tired and if I look like my face is swollen, it's because I have not gotten my beauty rest. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner. I'm making this. It's a sausage, creamy sausage tortellini soup. It is so delicious. Let me find a picture. So good. So I'm gonna cook it in the Dutch oven, but first I've gotta do the sausage portion of it and get that cooking because that I did thaw that earlier so I'm gonna go ahead and start on that Taylor and the boys have been making forts all day we had one going in the living room and there's like one over here behind this like alcove um, okay, so that's what they've been doing so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner All right, so I got the sausage and onion cooking. That looks good. And then we did, we painted all these ornaments earlier today and they look so cute. What I like to do is like take a Sharpie and just on the bottom write their name and then the year. So then I know. So then I'm going to add in this tortellini and then I like to add in some bow tie pasta just to add more filler because this is not enough for my family because there's usually like a ton of the soup and meat left. I did have two of these on my Aldi order, but I think they canceled one of them. So um, I'm gonna add, do these two and that's usually really good. And then I'll add in the kale and then I think it should be done. But right now I'm just waiting for it to come to a boil and then we'll go from there. But it's almost, almost five o'clock, so we're getting there. guys we just got the kids all bathed and in pajamas I just nursed and laid Ivy down for bed and put both the boys clean sheets on their bed their quilts are still going in the dryer so those should be done soon but we're gonna go downstairs and do our advent and then family worship which I'll try and share a little bit more about because a couple of you guys asked questions about that so we're gonna go do that and then do bedtime uh -huh. okay now Noby can you get it out and hang it up Okay, Good job. Taylor just put Field to bed and now he's getting Noble in bed. I already put Ivy down. I still need to do the dishes, um, but the house is pretty much tidied. I already made the boys' beds, put their quilts on, but I wanted to show you our advent real quick because I've had a couple questions about it. So this is the Ann Voskamp 
Advent. You can find it on Amazon. So this is actually a book and this like tree will fold into it, but because we're working on the Advent right now and we're on day four. So each day you just open up the little things. So I guess tomorrow would be day five and so you open it up, pull out this little ornament thing and then you would just stick it on one of these little hooks. So that's how that works. And then if you don't want to buy the book, there's a smaller version in here that's actually way shorter. So if you have, you know, not a lot of time, then we could, we honestly could probably do this if we had a busier day and not enough time to read this whole thing. So that's that. And then the 25th is the actual star. So this will go on there on the 25th. So that's how that works. That's our advent we've been working through. This is the actual advent book. I really have been enjoying this. And tonight we did one of these, we did December 4th um, for our family worship reading because it has scripture about it. And uh, yeah, so this is the one we did this evening. So that's what we've been, we decided to do for family worship tonight. And then we also did here, which I could, let me talk about this. Actually, I'll have Taylor talk about family worship whenever he gets down because I think he will do a better job of explaining it. And I will also link a couple of really great videos from our old church back home. They actually did like this conference thing and had a guest speaker come in and talk about uh, family worship and it was really, really well done. And so I'll link those videos if you guys want to learn more about it. And that's what encouraged us to start doing it. So anyway, when Taylor gets down here, I will have him talk to you guys about it. I'm going to go ahead and close this video out and I'll include the clip. All right, you guys, it has literally taken us 20 <laughs> times to film this clip without laughing. We don't ever film together. This is probably why. <laughs> I just want you to explain in your words what family worship is and why we decided to do it. And I guess we've been doing family worship for, I guess, close to a month. Yeah, something like that. Would you say? And I'm going to link the videos that we watched, which is from our old church. Mm-hmm back in Oklahoma and that'll give you guys a better understanding and I don't know what word I'm looking for anyway it'll give you a better understanding of what family worship is instead of just like our take on it but this in the season of life that we're in uh, we have three littles and so it is challenging and we just kind of get through it we're not really um, you know like having a full-on theological mm. you know discussion but Anyway, I'll let you explain it better. The reason we actually started doing family worship is we, because we wanted to actually take responsibility for you know our kids um, being able to know God and Jesus and all of the things from the Bible and to learn from us instead of you know taking them to church and just relying on one Sunday school class every week is the only time they really hear about Jesus or hear someone read the Bible or talk about. Uh, you know who God is and what he did for us and all of that stuff and so we, we really wanted to be consistent on that because uh, whenever he comes down to it, it really is the most important thing that we and as, it is our responsibility yeah we're, it's the most important thing we can do as parents is to instill those values in them and to come alongside them on their path uh, to finding Jesus you know their walk as believers and to you know help them with all those questions and I know that whenever I was growing up I had lots of questions too like that and uh, this is just something that is gonna help them be more confident in what they believe and what they uh, know they is older, truth yeah I think it's gonna be really important it's yeah right now it's basically like I would say it's for us to like help get the routine but I think it's also for them to they're learning so much. Like even at this young age, I think they're learning so much and they're, they're also creating habits, learning how to sit still and knowing like this is family worship. This is something we do every single night. This is something that's important. It's important enough that mom and dad take their time out of the day to sit down with us for like 15 minutes every single day to, you know, sing a song and- It's probably less than that though. Well, yeah, 10, 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> right now, uh, because obviously, you know, little kids, three, two-year-olds, they, their attention spans are pretty short. 
So 10 minutes, and it doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to be like a song or two, and then uh, like a paragraph of scripture, um, and then kind of you can talk about the scripture if you know it, it was something that you wanted to talk about, like something about Jesus, or if there was something that you saw in there that uh, would be good, a good lesson for them. And then we do catechisms also. So uh, I think the catechism we do, it's an app. It's called the New City Catechism. Uh, so it's basically just questions, who is God, and like how many persons are there in God, and what is our only hope in life and death, some of those kind of questions. And they've caught on so well and yeah. so fast. Yeah, they know all three of those already. Like they shocked us, mm -hmm. they literally did, whenever yeah. we started teaching them those. Yeah, they're really good at, at knowing that, the little sponges right, that, right now, so um, yeah, this is definitely a good time to start, and it's just been, it's been really good. Yeah, and I think it's a good way to end the day before, you know, we put them to bed of just like bringing the focus back to Christ mm -hmm. and kind of recentering our family back to our main purpose on this earth and is honoring and worshiping the Lord. And we have been like when it comes to songs and stuff, we are not the great greatest. We're not singers whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And it's more like hymns is something that we've been trying to work on trying to work on our memorization of hymns mm -hmm. i truly want to get better at like knowing more and i really have a fascination with the history behind the hymn but we've been doing just a few that are easy for the kids to kind of you know memorize the tune to right now they love jesus loves me and that's their favorite <laughs> and know it by heart. Not really it's not the best one super theologically thick but yeah um We've been working through some Christmas hymns. I did find a Christmas hymnal on Amazon, uh, which I can link. And I think it was John MacArthur who helped write it. So yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. And we tonight we did the Advent book for part of our family worship. And I feel like that was... Yeah, it's, it's I it mean, was, it's got scripture it's in it. It's got scripture it, in it. And, and then it talks about the scripture as well. So it's pretty... So, I mean, from the month of it, December, it maybe suffices. that's a good way to include... Yeah. The Advent with And then that. they like doing the little tree thing. And yeah. So. They really do. Mm. So anyway, that's just a little bit of why we do family worship and what we're hoping to kind of steer our family towards. Thanks for your input. No problem. We made it through. We right? did. We didn't laugh. We didn't laugh. <laughs> a lot. That time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, tomorrow is Vlogmas Day 7, and that's tomorrow the Will's appointment, and I think we're gonna run some errands, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna clean up and probably watch Downton Abbey or something, but hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. Bye.